Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. Yes, Hassan Mustafa wins the Orlando Pro. This guy now puts his name out there stating to everybody, I've won two pro shows and I'm going to the Mr. Olympia. Now, on an interview, he said he was going to do a third show. If he wins another event, he surpasses Blessing Awadibu as the hottest man going into the Mr. Olympia. Let's take a look at his physique. What I really like about him are his side poses, his side chest, massive chest, shoulders, triceps. He's just dense. His back double biceps has a lot of muscle. From the front, guys like Brandon Curry will have better lines. And obviously, Big Rami will be bigger. But I'm looking at the comparisons between Hassan Mustafa and William Bonek and Hadi Shupan, especially from the side, because I think he can really battle it out with these guys. He has a lot of muscle. Doing two events and winning shows that he's now found consistency in his conditioning, and that's key going to the Mr. Olympia. Hassan Mustafa might be the hottest guy going to the Mr. Olympia, and I'm not missing him for anything on that stage. Moving on to Spain, the Emperor Classic in Spain. We had a great show there, and our Iranian competitor, Ayat Bagri, wins the 212. He fits the mode, guys. He's short, he's dense, but his conditioning is gonna have to be a little bit better if he wants to go against Sean Clarita or Derek Lunsford, but he has time to do so. Now, moving on to the classic physique, Austrian competitor Fabian Meyer wins. He's experienced, he's been to the Mr. Olympia, and he's got an amazing physique. Now, stop what you're doing, put everything down, and look at this man's back double biceps. Yes, this back double biceps at the Mr. Olympia will catch everyone's eye. He has an amazing back, an amazing physique. Some guys just need to duplicate the effort, and Fabian needs to do that. Congratulations, young man, you're on the right direction. On the men's physique, Ali Bilal wins again. This competitor won last week and wins again, just like Hassan Mustafa. Now they're checking their conditioning. They know, they know exactly what to do. They know exactly what not to do to nail their conditioning. He's consistent. He's got the same shorts, the same hair. This guy is on fire, and I think he can be right there at the Mr. Olympia battling it out. Moving on to the ladies, German competitor Lena Ramensteiner wins the figure. Beautiful blonde, small waist, but from the back she's gonna have to add muscle and also on that back posing, maybe tilt a little bit to the judges. Small adjustment, but I think if she adds muscle, she'll be formidable at that stage. Moving on to the wellness, Brazilian Sinara wins the wellness category. Now, she's got glutes for days, legs for days. She might even contain some of that development going to the Mr. Olympia, but she's genetically gifted and you can tell she has the ability to carry a lot of muscle on the lower half, which is ideal for the wellness, but maybe containing a little bit so she doesn't overdevelop that uh, part of her body. Now, the star of the weekend is Ivana Eskandar. She beat an entire lineup of great bikini competitors. She already beat Ashley Kowatzer in one of these events. She is an incredible competitor, short. The feedback to her was, Ivana, maybe reducing the legs because you're a shorter competitor will make the glutes and the legs aesthetically pleasing. She followed the advice and now she's ready to go. I think this is the one to watch. I'm calling it right now, she's the star of the weekend. Ivana Eskandar. Start following her on Instagram because she can make history at the Mr. Olympia. These Europeans are coming. My name is Tarek El Gindi and I will see you at the Mr. Olympia. Wow.